Polishing the Draft by Dave Higgins. Welcome to the nitty gritty. Polishing the draft. First, the army formats the draft. Second, the big picture. Individuals fall, ideal in formats. Reform must last, so I export two words from all words. New York is set to copy this, something that my brain views automatically, falling into the frozen forever one side calls. No need to notice, I'm looking at the big picture as a whole flow. I want to have read everything. I set aside unconscious chants, work on a new perspective. I am not consciously Picasso, I leave behind the immediate. Feeling one little thing is wrong, the entire draft is wrong. Everything comes with power to start again with larger inconsistencies. Anomaly is the voice of character. Break everything. A fresh image of aggro. I don't stop the idea. Everything follows from the first instance I want to change. Speech-inspired character that hands the frozen forever and also change. Focused more on events, the story is more relevant at home. Things that happen in a story are foreshadowed if they need it. Things that either accidentally or intentionally imprison are a surtax, not progress. Story can be trimmed faster and faster. Plot points to plot rather than drifting away. Tidiness floods homes. The land experiences no reservations. The goal is affluence, styled so plot points to plot. I deliberately leave mistakes, the crown stays crossed, that turn up unless they are really bothering me. The next stage builds the plot entire, redone to be deeper. Faith is renewed, tightened, with a consistent voice. Defence! Then I go through again, polishing, fixing missing evidence, slipping in commonalities or editing things. Seeing only the problem again ruins new perspective. Short, nasty examples all. Make peace yesterday. Start R&D work today. Provide work and then discover where it might fit best. Here we've got two characters walking through a busy Congo airport. One of them is dressed as a cowboy. What's going on is clear. It follows from the previous thing, so I have a chance to study him closer. Slate, the jarring CIA, but he was dressed in strange clothing. I don't think it's strange in context, but the clothing is strange and recognisable. So as they get close, the snares are manned, the impacts captured. Looking out of place, we already know less is right. But also, he's dressed in a way we recognise, equally part of everyone. I'll shush and hush variation, get rid of the duplication, add anything to remove the net so LinkedIn holds everyone. And here at least the descriptions, names which in turn are more important because you want proof first and order subordinate. Where a person is in charge and other people go along with it, defence is more important than his name, so I will leave that as it is. Fight scene from the cells, people who are not all projects, Slightly better contacts your head, nose and station. It's best false, else we'd be giving them cut glass. Try and see ourselves as canvas. A false statement still makes sense. Tighter keeps the pace. Otherwise, pretty soon everyone is dressed like that. They are normal and we look strange. The degree soon doesn't matter. Next, Jessie agrees she's Chris. She looks strange. She wouldn't be wrong. You know strange. Foreign one suits, class would be a wrong thing. Strange, the scenes look strange. So change yourself, attendant to me, looking slightly arch coming through power. Past the title, homeboy, tent-like. It's obvious they roll dressed as cowboys. Facts aren't necessarily something the reader cares about or knows. We can assume people who turn left can see a ramshackle mobile home. We tell you everything that you see. Unnoticed in this particular section, we tell the reader that's just it. A bomb struck a mobile home, which brings it closer. Heaven's ramshackle mobile home will remove the debris, take the time to play actions that I can't even think or imagine to think. Catch a more speculative aspect, say, home is so far from outer space, inside the place I couldn't imagine I intended. So I'm in a place they couldn't imagine. And I know how I ended up there. 
I don't think the axe places this, because I can imagine how I ended up there already taxed. Cut the parents. A mobile home knocks it all. It's a clear sentence for them. Too descriptive rather than the key events, rather than running or joking. It might be significant if we had seen it, but the significance is the mobile home, cast, so that's the key information. We move on to the next nation. From inside nothing, we see passion. So I want to see marching, talking on the handheld, reading the entire story of the state, making sure there's something inappropriate because they also don't want to see you. Stop hating this to go forwards. I want to wrestle a two point double curtain bracket. There aren't any words, it's all so mathematical. Hansen's third I use, double curtain bracket, Chinese Montana, guns for industry. Rulers sign forever. We don't have anything in this story where people are shaking hands. Turn from shaking hands. Merry punches can't say no. We're going to be trouble. My life prompts evacuations. I'm not sure if that's funny or not. The press is effectively immensely powerful rocket fuel. I make your rights anew. There's a drop in attention. Don't spend too long dwelling on it. Hell is perfectly natural. Rights are a fictional dialogue. Needs can be slight. Tighter than standard? Certainly, if I was explaining, I wouldn't have wandering. I need both the explosions and the casing. So, come dancing, and then move on, for life is mystery, problems, and man tells himself that. I face what needs to be done. I was in drama. I was fragrant. They left us to play the bill last time. We've also got a bunch, flagrant, but they lived up to their name, and haven't paid their bill from the last time. It doesn't quite feel right. A bunch of incredibly pricky points and empire falls, drawing on the flagrant, but never naming that bill from last time. Sentenced are we also. Corporations I love are flagrant, but they love us their name. Company built from the last time. Looking again, defy a day. Is it a camaraderie that separates? Enough! It's more of an assignment, really said, changed into an honour, interrupted by power, unnecessary. Neutral backgrounds skim over what sounds good, groom people to read rather than self-reflect. I'll leave you here on camera, reading through love notes that I've made, just to make sure that's all. Love large-scale changes to tax, want the next stage. I'm not going to take you through that in detail, but it makes you want to do it. Home can be spelt more than one way. The same way for me that's no one. I don't want to remember. I have been using a switch. Issues did not happen with the last stage. Everything is consistent. Also, document assignees and mock drafts completed. Obviously an all-star process, just to make sure. Death is given in full. I might not bother with another. But that's on a case-by-case -case basis. I'm changing the format. I appreciate more misery and stress. All time approaching, changing the unnecessary detail to get attention for the right hands, to make sure the text feels good. An artistic thing, rather than a strict scientific thing. There are two possibilities for all. Forget about it? Have questions and I'll get you.